state, Jordan is in the lead with 4,600 points. Yeah. Yeah. Wikipedia is the most educational way to waste your time. You might start at the page for mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cell, and end up on the page for sweatpants, the powerhouse of depression. <laughs> Inspired by this phenomenon, let's play Wikipedia Link. <laughs> In this game, I'll show you two very different Wikipedia pages, and you'll guess how many links it takes to go from one to the other. And Price is Right, rules apply. Whoever gets closest without going over wins. And since this is our elimination round, you'll be wagering points before you guess. Whoever has the lowest score after the round will die. <laughs> Side note, the last time we played this game, we got called out by the After Midnight subreddit because apparently it takes two links to get from Snoop Dogg to the Great Depression. <laughs> but we said it took five. And yes, you're technically right, but this is a comedy show, not an accuracy show. <laughs> that is why the scores seem to jump around so much, like this. Oh! oh. One in the morning. <laughs> so panelists, let's play Whisper Your Wagers into your podiums now. I believe in you, you're the most talented podium. You're the most, you're the hottest podium out here. All right. Now please guess the number of links it takes to go from the wiki page for Jacob Elordi okay, okay. to the wiki page for the Dutch West India Company. <laughs> it's time to lock in your guesses. Jordan, what is your answer? Oh boy. Uh, dog, what? <laughs> okay. Okay. This is, a, I'm gonna say six. Six, okay. What about you, Zach? What is your answer? I'm gonna say Five. Jacob Elordi was in Saltburn. Salt is a spice. Dutch West India Company involved with spices. Oh. Other things. Six. That feels more like five. What did I say? <laughs> it felt. It felt more like three. Yeah, I'll say three. Okay. Wait. Right? Can I? Is it? Am I allowed to say three? You can say three. I'm gonna say three. Wait, we got two threes and, Zach, and a six. Your answer was three as well. Three. Three. Okay. And uh, you're still at six, Jordan. Well, now I'm self-conscious. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go five. Okay. Five, okay. Confident. So we got three, three, and five. Yeah. All right, so let's see how many links it takes. Okay, starting at Jacob Elordi, who at the age of 14 began practicing his American accent based on the thespian stylings of the one and only Vin Diesel. Of course. There we learned that the non-rock face of Fast and Furious got his start in the children's play Dinosaur Door in Greenwich Village. This iconic New York City neighborhood was the site of a tobacco farm owned by a man named Wouter oh. Van Twiller, a governor of the New Netherlands colony, which, as we obviously all know, was part of the Dutch, Dutch West, West India, India Company. Yeah. The correct yeah. answer is four. Yeah. Let's see how you did. Jordan, what did you wager? 2,300 points. Oh. oh. Which brings you down to 2,300 points. Yeah. <laughs> Zach, you and Arden both won that round. Yeah. Oh! Yep. Oh! Which brings Zach to 8,400. And Arden, what did you wager? I wagered uh, 4,499 points or something. So which brings you to 8,999 yeah. points. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Which puts you in the lead. But it's April Fools. Oh! So Arden, even though you have the highest score, you are actually eliminated. Oh! I know. Can you believe it? This is so messed up. April Fools. Oh! I'm sorry, Arden. Wow. I'm sorry. Before you go, please stare into this mirror of Galadriel and tell us what it shows you of your future. Oh, no. I hope it's I hope it's good. You guys, best of luck to both of you. Oh. Into the okay. West. Okay, come on, let's mark your two Oh, I hope it's a good one. Mirror of Galadio, what does my future hold? Oh! Oh my, oh my god, you guys! Oh god! Oh I see bangs! <laughs> Like a 
potato peeler. This is like, but it's like all the way around my head. This is like all my made. Really not good. I'll never no human touch again. Well, I had a good run, ladies and gentlemen. Now we're down to our final two contestants, which means it's time for For the Win. There are some people on the internet who are so raw and so real, they deserve a spotlight on national network television. Like at Rare Cray, who recently posted this, reasons why I'm single, which include I'm a massive overthinker, I have so much energy, and I love old school romance, and that's just not a thing for our generation. <laughs> what a beautiful LinkedIn profile. <laughs> Obviously, the internet has been making fun of this man, but for what it's worth, I'm team rare cray. <laughs> yeah! Panelists, for the win, in the style of this post, I want you to list why you're single. We'll hear your answers, and our studio audience will choose a winner when we come back. <laughs> Stick around.